And I'm watching the game last night, Tyreek Hill. Incredible game. Incredible. Three touchdowns. I, I think it's some Bears player from the 60s, the only person that scored three touchdowns in a game. Special teams rushing and receiving touchdown in the game. Incredible. I didn't know anything about this guy outside of his skill until I heard this old cooning ass Mike Tirico come on him and Chris Berman, these fucking these old grabber by the pussy ass niggas gonna come on and as soon as he gets he runs back the touch the punt, these motherfuckers gonna say, Well, you know he beat up his girlfriend in college. She was pregnant. He had domestic violence issue and they went on a rant about it. I mean, they didn't just touch it one time with their finger. These motherfuckers was talking. The play was over there and did all the highlights. He's sitting on the bench with oxygen, catching his breath. And they are still talking about it. And I'm thinking to myself like, damn, how is it that you can tell players to not kneel? Why are you kneeling? This is football. This is your job. You are here to play football. That's it. You're not supposed to be talking about social issues or, uh, you know, politics or government and all these things that have nothing to do with your job. You're supposed to play football. Then why the fuck do y'all think it's cool for you to bring up something or an issue with a black athlete every time he does something great you want to try to assassinate his character and let everybody know my husband is sitting there watching the game and he's like I didn't even know that about this dude and it's none of my fucking business why is it any of our business what happened to him in college while he's playing in the NFL he has a jersey on his back you know what that means it wasn't that bad if the nigga still got a jersey on his back and just ran some shit back, it obviously wasn't that bad because we already know the NFL will get rid of you if they feel like they have to. They will get rid of your ass. Only if they feel like they have to. If there's a re- if they got a way, they will. So why bring it up? I wonder how Mike Tirico would feel if every time he did the World Cup, every time he did a Monday night game or the Super Bowl and all these, you know, I'm not trying to take away from Tirico and his skill as a, as a, as a journalist, as an, an analyst. I do, I do believe he's talented. But how would he feel if every time Monday night football came on and it was like Mike Tirico and Chris Berman, Mike Tirico's the guy from back in the day who grabbed bitches by the pussies um, at ESPN. There was a woman trying to leave a, a, an ESPN event and he wouldn't let her leave. She's back in her car. Up. He's behind her car and asked her to roll the window down. When she rolls the window down to tell him to go fuck off, he reached his hand in there and grabbed her pussy. How would he like it if, if whenever he gets announced to do the World Cup and they say, Mike Tirico, here's the guy who, an ESPN producer, he f- got her email and was constantly harassing her and emailing her, talking about how he wanted to fuck. And, and when he finally saw her um, on set one day, came up behind her and was like, girl, I will, if I wasn't married, I would rip these panties off and, and bend you over this, this fucking table and, and fuck the shit out of you. But you're lucky I'm married. But if you ever want to take me up on the offer, I'm with it. How would he like it if that's how he was announced? Hmm. Would he think that's cool? Because it has nothing to do with his skill as an analyst. Nothing. There were no charges filed against Mike Tirico for his multiple, him and Chris Berman's multiple pussy grabbing ass incidents swept under the rug. And then, you know, Mike Tirico does not even claim to be black. He says he's not black, you guys. Mm hmm. He did. Niggas say he's not black. Damn the fact that his hair uh, roll up and separate when it gets wet and, and, and it beads up in water. Damn all the bell pepper, the, the, the black features on his face, his skin tone. He's a white man. He wants y'all to know he's a white man. He's not black. Stop calling him black. Okay. So Mike Tirico, uh, kiss my ass for the fuck shit that you did last night on Sunday Night Football. Had nothing to do with the game. Kiss my ass to all the commentators who ignore Ben Raplessberger. I see you guys don't talk about him buying off bitches at pussy he stole. But every time Mike Vick get a contract, every single time, when you look it up online, there's a link right up under him getting whatever contract he got so you can go click directly to the fact that he was dogfighting and went to jail. You can click that link. Same thing with Adrian Peterson. They do the same thing. But, but Peyton Manning... Peyton man and sexually assaulted a trainer did all types of fuck shit in college. They covered it up his whole career. And it finally came out when he retired. And he, what did he get for that? Y'all, what did, what did they give Peyton Manning for, for being such a horrible human being? His most of his life, they gave him 500 commercials. That's what they do to white people. 
you get 500 commercials. They're not going to bring up any of the bullshit that Peyton Manning did that the fact that it has been proven, there has been witnesses, nothing is going to happen to him at all. Jim Ursay, another one, owner of a team, known drug addict, known. When they announced the, the Indianapolis Colts are about to play, they should be like, and the owner is a drug addict. He is. Overdosed three times, allegedly. You know, alcoholic, racist, cutting players because they are exercising their, their rights to kneel during games. Bullshit. But we want to highlight it anytime a black player has any type of incident. I am not for men beating women. I do not know if Tyreek beat his girl or not. These are all allegations. I don't know them, but they have nothing to do with the game. Then why are you bringing them up? So if y'all want to keep bringing up shit that has nothing to do with the game, stop getting mad that players and athletes are bringing up shit that has nothing to do with the game, like oppression, like racism, bigotry. You know what I'm saying? Y'all don't, y'all don't want us to speak up about the things that's happening to us, but you want to keep fucking us over. Birth of a nation. Perfect example. Nate Parker been doing movies for how long? Uh, 15 years. I don't know. He decides to do a movie that's actually going to uh, move um, black people specifically, but also wake up some non-black people and show them some of the things that occurred in our community. And what happens? They want to bring up that he was uh, charged with rape in college, that he was g- no, no charges proven innocent, but they want to bring it up and ask you to protest the movie. Wow. Fucking wow. This is what's happening. This is what they're trying to do. They want us to stay in the ghettos. They want us to not get out. They want us to believe we're nothing all the time. And the ones that do get out, they want to find everything wrong with them to, so that you don't support them, so that you don't love them. I think it's bullshit, complete bullshit. And I'm going to continue to talk about it till I get tired of it. 